Oh, welcome back, guys. Happy Loki Mus. Happy Vlogmas. Oh my god, I started this thing twice. <laughs> and I'm in a giggly mood, not just because of the coffee either, but because um, YouTube is doing a thing lately where maybe you don't notice it, but I notice it because I do quality checks and like when I respond, instead of going to my comment section, I always go to the video. Because I have like the mind of a guppy and people will say something, I'll be like, eh? <laughs> so I have to kind of go back and see what they're talking about. Anyhow, I've noticed sometimes I have no ads on my videos. Sometimes there's like two ads. Sometimes there's like just a banner ad. Sometimes there's like an ad before the video. Um, it's really random. And it's so random on the other channel that I just I just got so frustrated. Last night I did a thing of like FNAF figures spinning around on a record player. And I put it to music. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done trying to figure out what YouTube wants. And today I did a spring trap thing. And it's it's really dark. They're probably hammering me because they think that everything in video games should be for children. I'm like, well, if you let your children play a game about a serial killer that killed children, good for you. <laughs> and it, it, the video got kind of dark, but I, like, labeled them. Like, they're dark comedy. They're not, like, appropriate for, like, wee little kittens of, like, four years old to be watching because you know it's actually a really dark game it was never aimed at children that there are toys now well there are bendy toys but they're like for ages 14 and up of course nobody's going to read the box and they're going to break it and the four-year-old child's going to break it and there's going to be some mom on walmart how dare you make such crappy little toys my four-year-old broke it and i'm like dude because they're collector's items there's a difference if it's made for children it's basically made like a dog toy. It should never fall apart. If it's not made for children, it has a label. Read the age. So anyhow, we've been doing that. And I did the, you know, the spring trap voice. And I've been listening to, um, was it Psycho Stick? All morning, the kind of like comedy metal band. It, it works. It does. And instead of his usual voice, spring trap had a deep voice like this. Oh my God, my voice. And I can't do it for very long. It was deeper than that. At least I'd like to think it was. And we were just talking back and forth. I know it sounds mental, but, you know, people like to see that on your channel. And we were talking about what he did in the game and how all the kids disappeared. It's a running joke on my channel that, you know, Springtrap and I are going to open a babysitting service. <laughs> I, I haven't put it on the other channel, but even have like a jingle wrote up and everything else. So yeah, it's just um, we've been kind of embracing the darker part of the holiday, you know, like Krampus and dark comedy and like all the things that you have specifically to scare the crap out of the kids because they're running around the house and they're breaking everything and you're like, mm, did I ever tell you about Krampus? He loves children. Baked in the oven. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing today, scaring children. <laughs> what do you do for a day job? I scare children. Oh, that's nice. How well do you scare them? Can you make them behave? How well do you want to behave? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we've been doing. Because Loki does have that in him, that kind of playful side that like will be coming up on you like this and you'll know it. So, that's why he really likes these video games, like these horror video <laughs> games. He, not only does he like to watch me scream, but he knows I get the sheer enjoyment of knowing something's stalking me. It's like, yeah, I'm getting stalked by the big man with the big knife, and ah! <laughs> He's just back here right now, like, oh my god. <laughs> but, most of my channels aren't appropriate for children. They're not appropriate for anyone, come to think of it, and I only have to. <laughs> channels my kids nobody in their right mind would let me raise children <laughs> i had very permissive parents as horrible as they were they were also like they didn't care if we kids grew up watching hbo and skinamax and yeah it probably explains why i am the way i am today so yeah we've just been being goofy and we're honestly just I know the channels look weird right now, but we're just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks at this point. Because as much as I would love to be independently wealthy and come in every day and just do zany stuff, 
you know, and that's like the dream you have when you go on YouTube. Unfortunately, it has to be zany stuff that some advertiser goes, yeah, I could back that up. And then that's like half the battle. You have to figure out zany stuff that people want to watch and hopefully it goes viral. And there's no, there's like no magical formula. I haven't hit it yet. I've never had anything go viral yet. And it's like, you want that one video that goes viral. You know, so you can do something crazy, like pay your heating bill and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and, like, today, it's, like, it's in the 20s. And this is an old house. It wasn't even meant to be a house. It was meant to be an Alp building. And when they converted it to a house, they didn't exactly make it the warmest building on the planet. So when I tell you it's in the 20s, imagine it being, like, minus 30. Because I've got, like, the space heater in there on. I've got my heat up to 70. And I've got space heater on in here, so that's the roaring you're hearing in the background. And it's like, it's cold, son. I mean, I, I will go and I will see if I can find my thermals and stuff. But it's like, it, it, it's cold. And I'm to the age where, I always had arthritis, but I'm to the age now where, like, it settles in your back. And you're like, you don't want it to, like, get near your kidneys and develop pneumonia or something. Like, I got up at, like four in the morning having old lady pains in my legs and I'm like it sucks so I had to go get like a nice warm pair of uh, pajamas put those on so I think I'm gonna find something a little warmer to dress in like the top's warm and usually my legs used to not bother me but now I'm getting like little old lady legs and like the small of my back it's cold and, eh. <laughs> like, you care right but yeah we're having a good day um It'll be in the 20s. It's supposed to snow this evening. Then it's going to go up until like the 30s or 40s for a couple days. And then now as it stands, we might have a white Christmas. Might. I will wait till Christmas Day when I wake up to see it. Yule's going to be cold AF, so I am not going out there. I'm going to be like, good. Good for you, Yule. You kings go fight it out or anything else. I actually put some stuff up about Santanil. Yes, yes, yes. Saturnalia, because, you know, I'm more attracted to that than I am just the kind of new agey concept of Yule, of bliss, and snow, and white. It's like, who actually, you know, I love the snow, and I love the ice, and I put up a thing on Facebook about Estonian witches, and they're like hardcore. They're like out there in the snow and ice doing stuff, and I'm like, mm, no, nah, I'm an American, no. W wake me when it's July and it's like 80 and I'm crying about the heat and dressing next to nothing. Then maybe I'll go outside. But yeah. Yeah. We've been having fun. I, I like the concept of outside. I actually don't mind the cold as much when I'm outside. It's kind of ironic. I guess because you bundle up. But I don't mind it as much outside. It's when you're inside and like the cold's hitting you in the legs or something. You're like, But it will warm up. I'm just being an old lady today, but we're having fun. We are. Despite the cold, we are having fun. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.